guys, so today I'm going to be doing my book talk slash review on Beautiful Oblivion by Jamie McGuire. I asked you guys if you'd like to see a review for this and I've got a lot of messages and comments telling me to please do the review, so I'm here with that today for you. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a spoiler free summary and then we can talk details. So Beautiful Oblivion is the third book in the Beautiful series and sort of the first book in what I consider to be the Maddox Brothers series. So Jamie plans on writing a book for every single brother of Travis's and there is four and Trenton Maddox, who this book is about, is the first brother to be written about. So this book follows Cammie Camlin and Trenton Maddox and their relationship. So in the beginning we're introduced to Cammie. The book is in Cammie's point of view. Cammie is a student at Eastern where Travis and Trenton both go and she's a sophomore in college. Cammie works at the Red Door which if you've read Beautiful Disaster you're probably very familiar with. It's sort of like the bar that a lot of the Eastern kids go to because it's close to campus and Cammie works there as a bartender and being a bartender at the bar you seem to know a lot about people that go the there. Maddox boys have a reputation and you don't want to mess with the Maddox boy because you'll be getting into it with the wrong people. So when Cammie first starts talking to Trenton, he approaches her at the bar. She doesn't really know what to think of it. They went to high school together and I'm pretty sure elementary school, all school they went together and they've never really talked before and now he's sort of taking an interest to her. But Cammie has a boyfriend who lives in California. She doesn't see him much but she is sort of attracted to Trenton and she doesn't know what to so do. yeah, that's basically all that you should know while going into this book. You should also know that you should have read beautiful Disaster and Walking Disaster previous to reading this book if you don't want to be spoiled on things. I think Walking Disaster also helps the book a little bit more, make it a little bit more easily understood if you know what I'm saying. Um, you should go ahead and read those and it will really help you with the beautiful Oblivion and yeah I, I just recommend it. I that. loved this story. I loved Trenton and I loved Cammy. I think that Cammy is a really good change from Abby if you've read Beautiful Disaster. You know Abby can be a little bit annoying. Cammy is totally different. She's a lot more badass. She's a lot more independent and I don't know I just really liked her and I love Trenton too. He was a total sweetheart so I think you should go ahead and pick up this book. If you are a fan of Beautiful Disaster you'll probably love it and yeah that's all I'm gonna say for non spoiler people. If you haven't read the book yet, I would recommend you go now. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them down below, but I would be really careful in case there's people that want to talk spoilers in the comments. Again, if you are a person that's read the book, be careful in the comments to try to warn people if it's a spoiler in your comments. So yes, I'm going to say goodbye to non-spoiler people, and now we're going to talk details. So Cammie, I really, really liked her. I thought that she was a good, like she was a breath of fresh air from Abby, who I didn't really like that much. You know, Beautiful Disaster is my favorite and everything, but Abby can get a little bit annoying. I thought Cammie was a lot less high strung and a little bit more independent and she was sort of more carefree and I don't know, I just liked I think her. a lot of that has to do with her home situation and how, you know, her father is and how he's sort of abusive towards her and her whole family, her mother especially, and that really can stick with a person and change them and make them a lot more independent and grow up a little faster than they need to be and I think that's exactly what Cammie's like. I think Trenton was super cute. He was really funny and super likable. Um, just like Travis, I think they have a lot of similarities, but Trenton seems to be a little bit more rational and a little bit more ahead of himself. He like knows what he's doing. Travis is a little bit more crazy um, and Trenton is a little bit more conservative in his actions. He thinks before he does, unlike Travis, but I think that's what kind of added to Trenton's whole character and it made him really loving and he was super charming and I really loved him. Also, just before I talk anything, like I loved the fact that um, Travis and Abby were in this book and there was all of the different scenes that you know from Beautiful Disaster. Travis going to the bar and saying that there's this girl, Abby, and she's a freshman and he doesn't know like what to do. He's never felt like support. It was really, really nice to get to see that and I absolutely loved that aspect of the book. I had no idea that Beautiful Oblivion and Beautiful Disaster were going to be coexisting. I didn't know how that was going to play out at all because I remembered in like Beautiful Disaster or Walking Disaster, there's a part where Travis mentions that Trenton has a new girlfriend and I was thinking, well, I don't know, like, is that Cammy? Because that's confusing, but then I realized they happen at the same time, so it makes sense. I think that Reagan, Cammy's roommate, being in the book had a really good purpose of her with the whole thing with Cody and Brazil. It was a lot of, like, foreshadowing or paralleling, I guess you could say, to what Cammy's going through, and I thought it was really important to have that in the book. Reagan was a good character as well. She wasn't too annoying. America in Beautiful Disaster is a little bit annoying, so I didn't mind um, Reagan at all. I thought she was a really good person to have as 
because her roommate thought they went well with each other and they balanced each other out, which was good. Okay, so we just have to talk about Trent and Olive. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. It was such a nice surprise um, that he watched this girl named Olive on Monday nights and they go to Chicken Joe's and I thought it was super cute. <laughs> a lot of girls have like a sweet spot for guys that are good with kids and I thought that just like added like he got like 50 points for that that was just great um it was so cute how he interacted with her and how he used her to get cammy to go with them to chicken joe's i thought that was so funny and i loved that she was added to the story i thought it just like made it it was so cute i loved 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 hazel she had to be one of my favorite characters hazel who does the piercings at the tattoo parlor i thought she was hilarious she had some great one-liners and i loved how her and trenton kind of had a brother sister sort of relationship and how that kind of developed with her and cammy how they became good friends and i thought she was just so Super funny and quirky and really really a nice character to have in there I thought she was like a good character kept the book like funny the fact that Cammy started getting tattoos was like sort of cool like I mean I guess you work in a tattoo parlor start getting tattoos but like the baby doll on her knuckles as a first tattoo was sort of weird like I don't know I didn't really like that I thought it was kind of strange but it was cute how Trenton did her tattoos for her for free and stuff it was nice but I mean I thought kind of weird I don't know <laughs> so when they first kiss into the kitchen and Trent says that you know it, it's complicated now you can't stop avoiding the fact that we have a connection and she kind of freaks out and she wants to go to California to see TJ and he shows up at the airport I mean I thought it was it was a grand gesture obviously and it was really cute um, how he was like don't go like I love you like and he was sort of shy about it but he like didn't care he like didn't want her to go and then she left and I mean I guess that makes sense she had to go see TJ and figure out what it was if it was just distance that was keeping them apart if there was still had a spark I thought that was important and I was kind of glad that she didn't go back with Trenton immediately because that just would have been stupid. to start hearing about this big secret that Cammy can't tell Trenton or he'll hate her he won't love her he won't want to date her he won't want to see her he'll hate her so much and then that's when we start thinking like what is it like what's the secret and so I had a couple ideas going around in my head but I did not guess what it was I thought maybe it had something to do with the accident that he was in with that girl that like made him scarred for life or something like that I had no idea I really couldn't think I of it I actually went back and sort of reread some of the scenes with her and TJ and if you have if you know what the ending is and you go back and read um it's a little bit obvious you know TJ's like she's like oh me and Trenton have been hanging out and then TJ's like oh like did he do your tattoos on you she never mentions that he's a tattoo artist he knows he's a tattoo artist because he's his brother and so it's kind of weird there's a couple things in there that like if you had known if I go back and reread the book it'll be a little bit more obvious and I was on Goodreads and some people figured it out which I think is insane I would have never figured it out so the ending just to kind of clear it up if any of you are confused I was really confused um I'm still sort of confused on a couple things that I'll mention but the ending her and Trenton get into the car accident she ends up in the hospital and when she wakes up TJ or Tom and um, Trenton are both there and she's like oh so you guys know like Trenton you don't care and then he's like it's fine whatever whatever all that stuff and so then you're like when you see that on the cast he wrote Thomas Maddox or whatever and you're like oh TJ is Thomas so they're brothers she didn't want to tell Trenton that she was dating her brother that's the secret right like I was really confused I didn't know if that was a secret if it was something else I'm not even sure so I guess that's the secret that she was dating Trenton's brother and she didn't want him to know which I feel like she made it into a much bigger deal than it could have been I don't think it was that big of a deal to be honest I don't know I thought that was kind of weird so after I finished beautiful oblivion I was super confused obviously so I just went on to Jamie McGuire's website and I knew she had like an FAQ section so I went to the beautiful oblivion FAQ and for the question what happens at the ending I don't get it she said to go back and reread the epilogue from walking disaster which I did and that is when it is revealed that Travis and Thomas his brother both work for the FBI in California so that is the whole deal with you know Thomas TJ's work how he's always in California and it's always super unpredictable he doesn't know when he'll get to go home he doesn't know until like that day it's because he works for the FBI so I was still sort of confused about the whole fact that Thomas tried keeping Cammy a secret which didn't make sense to me really because like I don't know it didn't make sense so I, I said that on Goodreads and someone replied to me and said maybe it's because Thomas knew 
that Trenton like really liked Cammie because it's said throughout the book how much Trenton always has loved Cammie throughout elementary school and um, high school, whatever, how he's always like had this crush on her and maybe like Thomas knew that, but I, that still doesn't really make sense. So I honestly don't know. If you as a reader of Beautiful Oblivion can clear any of this up for me, I would love you forever if you could just go in the comments and let me know anything that you know that I honestly seem confused about. So that would be really, really great and I would love you forever. But overall, I thought the book was really, really good. I obviously loved it. I loved Trenton. I loved Cammie. I loved the relationship. I loved how it progressed. There was great character development throughout there and I overall really liked the story. I gave the book a four five stars because of the little bit of confusingness and I don't know it was it wasn't a perfect read it wasn't a grade a five out of five stars so for me. I thought it was amazing and I want to hear all of your thoughts that have read the book down below what kind of stars do you give it what do you think about it did you like it did you hate it is Trenton your new favorite Maddox brother obviously Travis is still my favorite um I'll always love Travis but Trenton is up there so I do love the book I did think it was really really great um a great first book for the Maddox brothers series and I'm super excited to be reading the next couple of books about Tyler Taylor, Taylor and Thomas. I know we're gonna get a Thomas book and I'm pretty sure Jamie's writing some sort of sequel. I don't know if the sequel is gonna be the Beautiful Oblivion sequel or a book about Thomas that sort of doubles as a sequel but she did say we're gonna be hearing more about this story so I'm excited for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this review slash book talk. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments below. Again if you are commenting stuff with spoilers please do like an asteroid and like spoiler alert or something just to you know give the people down there that have not read the book yet a little bit of warning and that would be really appreciated so hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time bye